Hi, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi and for today we'll be looking at non-traditional method of construction. The reason why I decided to do this is because I realized that most persons who are applying to the NHT for a loan somehow have a disconnect between the method of construction and the size of their structure in relation to their budget. So the budget is so small, yet they want something so big. Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. Now, for this particular method of construction, it's actually containers. Right? The reason why I decided to look at this is because I felt that this is an interesting interesting method of construction that if applied in Jamaica could make a beautiful home and something that can be enjoyed by somebody without having the need to go into you know the massive construction and overspending and all of that what if there was a method where you could build and build decent and live comfortably so without any further ado, let's get into that. I remember walking out and looking at the yard and just realizing like, oh my God, the, the land is calling for this linear design. And I was extremely taken with container structures. I like the efficiency of, of the container. If you're skilled in designing with them and if you have a, a good knowledge of, of architectural planning, like you'll be able to work with them. So we kind of just went with it. It's really important for me for the designs to like function. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're inside of a container so that in the design we had to address that. I've been in a couple of projects that are really attractive, but they don't function very well. And then you're like, well, I still feel that I'm in a metal box. If the final user has that feeling like they, it was not a successful project. It's great. It's so light here. That was the whole point. We wanted for it to feel like you were in a regular home. The idea is that when you were in here, you forgot where you were. You know, are, you, are, we, are we in Savannah or are we in Brazil? You know, like I wanted it to have that feel. For interior, we removed about 27 feet of container of the 40 feet. We kind of gave it some additional height, which gives it more of an open feel in here, and then brought in all the skylights. So you went with the clear story windows? Yeah, just to bring in more light. It was important for us to give this as much natural light as possible, and also to remove the feel of the container when you were inside. So structurally, is that difficult to be taking an entire wall off? Any kind of cutting on any container affects its integrity. So as soon as a container project is approached, like the minute that you're cutting away, structure becomes a, a concern and it has to be addressed, especially when you're removing 27 feet of them. So that's why we get the two I-beams. We didn't need that much I-beam, but I, as a design element, we wanted to use something that would be substantial. Yeah, so you have a, right now it's being used as a bedroom. So this actually is just right for a queen bed, no? Yeah, but it, I, it's a little tighter, but it's great. It works perfect, you know? Were you thinking about that when you Yeah, of course, of course. And nice and open. You kept it open? Yeah, definitely. Um, we want, like I said, that jog was planned out so that there would be kind of a private space there for a bed or a private office or whatever. But no door? We didn't put doors. We didn't feel the need for them. So up to, from the bedroom, you have the bathroom. Um, and it's, you know, it's a pretty size, pretty decent sized bathroom. So it's, it's, everything's kind of square. I mean, it sort of fits the, the angles of what's there. Yeah, yeah, we kind of adapt it with the containers themselves. So how was it then? So you had to add a center. You, you yeah, split we, them. How far are they apart? They, they go off uh, eight feet from each other. And then they staggered back. So. It went back 12 feet and 12 feet forward, just, just kind of to, to create this jog. I just love how you can see the container 
from the inside. Mm -hmm. You lose perspective of what's inside and what's outside. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving the doors on was not even a question. It was part of the design. Some people question on whether we should weatherproof them so you can kind of turn them into windows, but I've never wanted to do that. How difficult is it to keep it, say, because you have the challenge of the weather here? We treated them just the same way you would treat a residential structure. You know, the walls are insulated. We use spray foam insulation. It's, you get an R30 value. We, we have a, a UV clear coating on the exterior and like, the containers are cool like that, you know? Like they're, they're designed to be out in the ocean and take that salt water all the time. So you already have that strong coating on them. Good design shouldn't have to be just purchased. You should work with what you find. And the entire kitchen came from a building that they were gonna demo. We went and you know salvaged all the countertops. So if you're able to design around that, if you have the luxury of time to let the design come and trust that you will have what you need when you need it. Good design should not have to be expensive. But they have but I'm always it's really important for me for the designs to like function, you know, to so you should not feel that you're in a metal box if you're in a metal box. Like, it's not attractive, you know? <laughs> in, in that Lego aspect of it, you can move them around, you can do just about anything with them, but the final outcome has to function, you know, has to serve the final user's purpose. Otherwise, otherwise it's just not successful. It has to be a house, not a cage, right? It has to be a, a home, not a cage. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. So, did you enjoy that? For me personally, I felt somewhat relieved. I felt like I would love to have such a home. It is livable. It is comfortable. It meets the needs of the person that, you know, would occupy that space. For me personally, I would love to, you know, build one of those and maybe I will in the future. But what do you think? Do you think that this type of construction, if applied in Jamaica more frequently or more often, or on a wider scale, could actually help solve the housing um, issues that we have? And do you think that Jamaicans would actually use this type or this method of construction? Please leave your, leave your comments below. Click the like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And this is a Jawi TV. We want to record Jamaican architecture. So if it is that you have a home that you think is interesting and you interesting and you would want to share, you can call me and I'll come out and have a nice interview with you and we can take it from there. Alright? So thank you for watching. See you next time.